Hello, hello, welcome back to the Craft Scraps. I am Lauren and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make coffee mugs using a image from Etsy. In my previous video, I showed you how to actually download the images from Etsy. It's super duper simple. That video is literally like, you know, two or three minutes long. I'll link it up here for you and down in this description if you are brand brand new and need assistance. I also have a video on how to upload images from the internet. It's a little bit of an older video, but I think that the principles still reign true. So I'll also leave that in the description and link it up here for you as well. But basically, I'm going to come over here to upload and obviously I'm making some fun little kind of um, scary movie themed coffee mugs. So these are all the images I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using six total. So to upload multiple images, it's super easy. You just click, 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 click. And so we're basically ready to go. So I'm going to click add to canvas. And you can actually see they're all down here ready to go as well. So if you click multiple things, you can see what exactly you've clicked right down here. And of course, the design space is taking a little while today. So here we have all of our SVGs ready to go. I purchased these from Etsy, so they're super clean. They're super easy to use. All right, and so the mugs I got are from the Dollar Tree. I'll show a little snippet of what they look like down below. And they have kind of like a flat, they're not square and they're not round. They're kind of this like, they have like a slight rounded corner to them. So after measuring them, I'm going to make each of these about like two and a half by two and a half or so. I'll have to play around with a little bit of them. I'll have to play around with them a little bit just since they're all like different shapes and sizes and things like that. So to size these, all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag one and I like to use this kind of as my little ruler. I'm going to put it right up in the corner. And actually before I do that, I want to make sure that this is unlocked because I personally want to be able to manipulate the image however I can. You'll see it starts out as locked down here, but if you click on that button, you see that it unlocks. So the reason I like to unlock it is because then I am free to really like stretch and manipulate the image however I want. Whereas if it's locked, I'm kind of limited to the proportions of the image I can only move it really one way. So if you want to keep your image proportions, leave it locked. But if you want to kind of like play around with it, I like to unlock it. 99% of the time I unlock. So I'm just going to come over here, make this a little bit bigger. And I'm going to do them about two and a half, a little less than two and a half wide. About... That's a little less than two and a half by two and a half. I'd say it's about two and like an eighth of an inch wide and two and a little less than two and a half long. Sorry, I'm bad with my measurements. So that's basically it for that. So now I'm going to do the same thing for all of these ones down here. I know it looks really tiny, but it will look perfect on the actual mug itself. For mugs, you don't want to make them too, the images too big. It just makes it really difficult to transfer it to the mug if you're using vinyl, I found. Also, I don't like them to be too high because I don't want the vinyl to be where like they're they might put their mouth. Um, so that's just my thing. So this one I'll do pretty much the same measurement. This one's a little bit longer than two and a half, but that's fine. So now I'll take the rest of these and do the same thing. A little trick I like to do if I'm doing so many is I'm going to stack them all on top of each other. I'm going to highlight them all 
and then I'm going to unlock and I'm just going to shrink them all and then I will specifically manipulate each one individually. This just saves me a little bit of time. Now they're all kind of the same size. So now I can just go back and kind of manipulate each one. So that one looks good. Make this one a little bit bigger. And I actually ended up scrapping that love one because it had way too many tiny holes for like, who is this? Is this Jason? I have no idea. Um, I had way too many holes there, so I'm going to do this one instead. All right. So these are good to go. Okay, and so one thing I can tell from these SVGs is none of these are, are like welded or attached. So you can tell because if I select this one here that selects this guy down here, all of these are separate. So if I go to try and make this right now, I'll just do on a mat or without a mat just for fun. I can see all of the facial features are over here. Yeah, and I'm not trying to play Mr. Potato Head with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over and select this guy. I'm gonna click weld. So now all of his features are going to be cut out in the image. So you can see this is the weld result over here. Same thing with this guy, I'm gonna click weld. So now he's going to get all cut out, and so I'm just going to do that for all of these. So the only reason I don't have to do this guy is because he's obviously a solid, easy image, so we don't have to worry. So I'm going to come over here to make it. And so if you are going to do this without a mat, you need Cricut Smart Material, so you'll need your Smart Vinyl. Or if you're using any other material, you can use a mat. So for me, I do have some Smart Vinyl, so I'm going to do without a mat. Click Continue, and you can see all of my guys are here ready to go. So I'm going to click Continue. So you can see it's finding my machine here. Now that it's found the machine, I can select my material. So I'm gonna go to browse materials. I'm just gonna type in vinyl. Oh, I guess I don't need to because it's all right here. I'm gonna do smart vinyl permanent, click done. So now I can switch you guys over to the camera so you can see how we're going to make it. All right, so these are the mugs I got from the dollar store. Again, these are, they're like not a white, true white. They're like an off-white kind of color. So I think they're really nice. And I don't really think it's the dollar store anymore. I'm pretty sure it's the $1.25 store now. But I still really like these mugs. Also, I'm trying a new camera setup. I got a different tripod. So let me know in the comments if you like this or don't like it or don't care one way or the other. Hopefully the tutorial looks the same. I just have like a smaller tripod now so I can get more like close. Anyway, doesn't has nothing to do with the tutorial. So before I do anything, I'm going to take a cotton ball and I'm going to wipe all the mugs down with this rubbing alcohol. So this is just gonna make sure that it gets rid of any dirt or fingerprints, oil, anything like that. All right, so I'm gonna let those dry. Okay, so like I mentioned, I am going to use the Smart Vinyl for this. This is the permanent Smart Vinyl. Of course, if you don't have Cricut Smart Materials, no problem. You can use any other kind of permanent vinyl that you'd like. I really like Oracle 651. That is usually my go-to. I just have this handy right now and I'm just too lazy to use a mat, so that's what I'm gonna use. All right, so I'm just gonna pop on my little vinyl holder thingy. All right, so my vinyl is loaded in this little roller holder thing, so I'm just gonna push it on through. 
And so now that I have my vinyl in the little holder thingy, I've pushed it on through. So you can see that it's like under these little teeth here. And so now all I have to do is push the load materials button here. It's gonna feed the vinyl on through. It's gonna check to make sure I have the right tools. And then once our play light starts to blink, we will cut. All right, so we can cut. And I'm using the Maker 3, but of course, if you have a Cricut um, Explore Air 2, regular Maker, then Explore Air 3. I mean, they have a million models out now. That's totally fine. So now it will cut out our designs. <laughs> All right, so it has finished cutting, so we'll just unload our mat, or not our mat, I guess. We'll just unload our vinyl. All right, so we have all of our images cut out on the vinyl that you can kind of see here. So I'm just going to separate them just so they're easier to work with. All right, so now I'm gonna take my weeding tool and I'm gonna weed out all of these designs. So basically all weeding is, is we are just going to get rid of all of the extra stuff around and within the image that we don't need. So I'm going to be using my weeding tool for that. So I like to just pick up a corner and just kind of peel away. I have re learned that this, um, smart vinyl is quite nice to work with it's like very oops i like how i was like oh it's quite nice to work with and then i immediately like messed it up it just accidentally got stuck on that <laughs> eye there but i fixed it so you can see it's kind of like pulling up that eye with it so all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hold you can't see it i know i'm so 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 sorry i'm just holding the eye that's like cut out and then also picking up the vinyl at the same time just so the eye doesn't get lifted with it. So other than that, I really like working with the smart materials. So we have our first little character here. So now we have all of our cutouts ready to go. And so now we are gonna put them on our mugs. So for this, you will need transfer tape. I am using this Expressions uh, Vinyl Masking Transfer Tape or Paper Transfer Tape. I get this from Auntie Tay, but you can get it from wherever you'd like. I do have a code with her if you'd like to use it. I'll leave it in the description. But now we are going to transfer these bad boys to the mugs. So I'm just going to rip off a sheet of tape and actually I could probably rip this one in half because these are pretty small. So all I'm going to do, and if you have Cricut transfer tape or any other transfer tape, feel free to use that. This is just what I'm using. So I'm just going to place it on top of the image. And I'm going to scrape it down with my squeegee. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to peel the backing kind of like off the vinyl instead of just trying to rip the masking or the transfer tape off of the vinyl. I just feel like this works a little bit better. This Cricut um, Smart Vinyl backing though is really strong so... Oh my god, this Cricut backing is really hard to like get these to wanna. There we go. Sorry, I had to 
work at that one a little bit harder. All right. So this is ready to go. So I'm going to be putting these on the this side of the mug because the person I'm giving these to is right handed. So that looks good. And a couple of tricks that I've learned that are not mine, but for mugs and putting like round images or lettering, I just lost his little nostril right here. Don't worry, I will put it back. Um, one is to cut all of the, most of the excess transfer tape so you don't have so much to work with. And then also putting in like little slits in the transfer tape. So this just helps so you can, if one area is giving you a hard time, you can still like take off a piece of the transfer tape and it'll just rip. So I'm going to put this right in the center or as center as possible. And I want to avoid putting it too close to the lip. So that looks pretty good. So I like to kind of press in the center first and then just kind of work my way out. All right, and once it's on there, just give it a good press. So with permanent vinyl, I don't typically seal these. Um, you don't really need to if you wash them properly. All right, and so now I'm just going to peel off the transfer tape. And so we have our super cute little mug. Oh, I got to put his nostril back on. All right, so he is good to go now. So now I'm just going to follow that exact same process for all of the rest of the mugs. All right, so I have finished weeding out all of our creepy coffee mug companions <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I think these like turned out pretty cool actually I think these are fun so if you have somebody that likes horror movies here you go Christmas idea so I hope you guys enjoyed this as always don't forget to like and subscribe and as always happy crafting